right, let me ask you this. The Bucks became even heavier favorites to win the NFC South, and they have the second-best odds to win the Super Bowl now. Do you think they win their division? 100%, Molly. And I say it because of this. And it only applies to the NFC South. They have the best quarterback in the division. All those other, I think the team that can come close second will be the New Orleans Saints because they have their numbers. They swept Tampa a year ago. So Tampa's going to – they're going to go back and look at those games and say, hey, we got to beat this team. So they're going to try and keep them at bay. But Tampa, I think they're ready to play simply because they have the best quarterback in the division. Those other teams, there's some optimism there. They don't know what they're going to get out of Jameis down in New Orleans. Uh, uh, Andy Dalton – I don't know who's going to be the starter backup. Mm -hmm. They'll probably flip-flop week in, week out. We don't know. But I truly believe that Tom is going to play with a chip on his shoulder. The Bucks, they're going to do extra homework because they know they have to beat the Saints. They're not worried about, you know, Baker Mayfield over there in Cal Carolina. You know, they're, they're not worried about anyone else but the New Orleans Saints because that team swept them a year ago. And I think that all of the pieces of the puzzle that they've put together this offseason – is going to help them win the uh, NFC South. Fred, you were, you were a player who was obviously a big-time <laughs> star in Jacksonville, one of the best backs in the game. I think I saw some stats for you that – you were on the list of five players and the other four players in the Hall of Fame. I believe you belong in the Hall of Fame as well. When you had an opportunity to be a free agent, you chose to go to New England to play under Bill Belichick, to play under Tom Brady. Did you feel that reinvigorated you? Did you feel a difference in who you had been the last couple of years in Jacksonville as opposed to when you were in New England? Because you're basically saying that Julio being around Tom Brady changes what we've seen from him the last two years, and you would know that firsthand. 100%. And it's very similar to my career. I went to New England after playing 11 years in Jacksonville, so year 12. Year 13, my last two seasons in the NFL, um, I worked out extra hard. I did everything right. My nutrition changed. I wanted, to, I wanted to not let them down. Here I had an opportunity to go play for one of the dynasty organizations in the entire history of the uh, NFL. So, of course, I wanted to do some things different. Uh, I was 100% reinvigorated at 33 years of age going up to New England. Again, Tom Brady, he brings the best out of you. He brings the best out of everybody in the locker room. And the good thing about that is he treats everyone the same. So I really believe that there's no pressure on Julio, you know, more excitement than pressure. And he's going to go out there and he's going to have one of his best seasons in the past couple years. Now, Freddie T, I, I, I got to go back to this division thing because you made it seem like just the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to win into the <laughs> NFC South, uh, hands down, no question. Let's not forget now, for the last five times that this te these two teams have played, the New Orleans Saints have won. And when you look at Jameis mm -hmm. Winston, I actually think he's going to come back with a vengeance. You look at what they did in their receiver room. Michael Thomas coming back. Chris Olave, they went up and drafted him in the first round. You have Jarvis Landry. Let's not forget, you still have Marquez Callaway, Adam Trotman at the tight end position. Now, I need to see how long Alvin Kamara is going to be suspended because he's going to be a big part of the New Orleans Saints and their success because he can do it rushing the football and catching it out of the backfield. But then you go to the defensive side. And everyone thinks just because, okay, Dennis Allen is the head coach there, Sean Payton's not there. Well, the offensive coordinator has been there with the New Orleans Saints. Dennis yep. Allen has been yep. their defensive coordinator. So I'm not worried about that. They have the hogs. They have the dogs to get it done. And it wouldn't surprise me if the New Orleans Saints won the NFC South. It wouldn't surprise me. Listen, they nope. ain't got the GOAT, Harry. I'll leave it at that. They ain't got the GOAT. Well, hey, they Molly, had the GOAT the last two were... years. <laughs> and he, he lost four to five, <laughs> for the last five, five games to him. What, what does that got to do with anything, so, so Fred T? Mo Molly, I when like I was shirt, high Ryan. on the Saints yesterday, Molly, yeah. when I was high on the, on the Saints yesterday, you were all upset with me. You were like, oh, Ryan, you're going out on a limb. You think the Saints are going to be good? And then you just let Harry sit there and say all of these great things about the Saints <laughs> and the fact that the GOAT doesn't matter and you don't check him at all? Like because in, 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 in Molly, 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 Molly you, never, <laughs> you know what, Brian? There's like three sides to every story, your side, my side, and the truth. I don't remember the conversation going like that. Actually, I remember teeing you up on Surprise Sleeper Team, and you were like, 
the Saints. And I was like, Ryan, where is all that intensity I just saw at the big board and all the body movement? So that's what I remember happening. Not that I, oh, I did get on you about the quarterback, though. You're right. That part I did. Oh, See? yeah. The quarterback. <laughs> yes. Jameis. Famous Jameis. And Channing was on my side with that. That is my big question mark there, guys. Obviously, Sean Payton's still not there. And can Jameis get the job done? I think Pete Carmichael being there with this team for a while is, is going to serve J Jameis some do. Molly, and you know, and RC, to Molly's point, though, to Molly's defense, yeah. she, y'all know for me to get up here and talk about the Saints, I'm being a true professional and I'm doing my job. Because, RC, you know where I'm from. You know I'm from the ATL. I know. You know how, you know <laughs> yep. how we get down when it comes to the Falcons and the Saints. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.